This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a Blue Star range that needs the thermostat replaced. So we're just going to pull the knobs off the front, which is really easy. They just come straight off. This one just wasn't keeping temperature at all. It was about maybe 100 degrees off. So got to put in a new thermostat. And these are an electronic thermostat that replaces the mechanical or analog thermostat. So once we get those off, we have to remove the burner and grate assemblies <clears throat> on the front, and these just pull right off. You just lift them up. We also need to remove on the left side back burner just that one grate. So all three of the front and then left side back, back burner assembly. We're going to zip out these three screws here on the top of this steel cowling on the front. We're going to come up from underneath and zip out these screws that are underneath the cowling. These are just Phillips head screws. The only thing that's a little bit tricky with this procedure, may take longer than you think, is just routing the uh, thermostat bulb, getting the old one out from <clears throat> inside the oven cavity and then routing the new one in is a little tricky. And then um, getting the wiring exactly right. There's one wire that you have to improvise a little bit, then the white neutral wire. The other ones are all color coded, which is really easy. So we're getting some Phillips head screws out of the very bottom of the front panel. We opened up the oven door to get easier access. And also you want to pull out the uh, little drawer that sits there. Okay, now we're going to be pulling off the front panel. And there's the old analog thermostat with the wires hooked up. Don't worry about the uh, colors of the wires because the new one has uh, everything's color coded, so it's pretty easy. So you can pull off these wires. Take a picture if you'd like, just to make sure you remember how the, how it was put on. And there's the old bulb. So it goes out to the left hand side. It's routed into through the firewall, then into the burner cavity, and then down into the oven cavity through a little hole. And there's the bulb, the old bulb. So we're going to pull off the clips by pinching in and pull towards you. Those clips are holding that bulb in place. There's two of them. We've got to remove the oven racks and also the um, <clears throat> support on the left-hand side that holds the racks. We're pulling the little clips off of the bulb because the hole's pretty small. So we've got to make sure those clips are off. So pulling out the racks. Lift this piece off. We're going to push that bulb up vertically, and it should come out of a little hole here at the top. But it's a bit awkward because there's a um, there's a guide rail for that drawer that you pulled out, so it's a little bit hard to get out. So we got that out, and then I'm going to be taking a Phillips head driver and a little ratchet. I'm going to remove two of the screws that hold on the guide rail for that drawer on the left hand side. Just the back two screws. And This is so I can push this rail to my left a little bit and that opens up the hole and makes it easier for um, pulling the old bulb out. There I just pushed it to the left and also installing the new bulb. Here's the new one. It's a little shorter and it has a wire attached to it because it's a digital electronic system rather than analog. We're going to push it down into that hole. Just take your time, be patient, try to go in vertically. And just keep feeling for where it is and then it'll drop down into the oven cavity. 
There's the long wire that comes with it. They give you a lot of extra wire. So I'm going to fish that wire down underneath that drawer guide, pull it on through, and then I'll put that um, drawer guide back into position and, and put the screws back in. Because now I got that bulb in there. I just had to move it to the left a little bit to make it easier to access. So I'll push it back into position, put the screws back. And it's kind of hard to get to these screws because there's a gas pipe in the way, so I'm just using a Phillips head and a little ratchet. You get those tight. Get the drawer pushed back in. Took a picture of how the old wiring was just for fun. You don't really need it because, again, it's all color coded. They zip out the old thermostat, has two Phillips head screws holding it in. There we go, now it's all freed up. It's right there. And we're going to pull the new wire through the firewall over to the left hand side and guide it through. I want to get all I want to get it pretty pretty straight, no slack in that burner compartment. The slack's going to be all wound up in the front here. So I'm going to wind this up and then I'll put a zip tie around it to kind of make it more tidy. But this is all going to be up near the control. So this is the sensor probe. We're going to just push that into the back of the new electronic thermostat. Make sure it clicks all the way in. And then we'll do our wiring. So it's pretty easy. It's yellow goes to yellow, orange goes to orange, red goes to red, and black, which is the hot, goes to black. And the only problem is, is that you're left with two white wires. You only need to hook up one of them, but that's your that's your neutral connection. So you do need to get a neutral. And I'm going to be stealing the power, the neutral side, from over to the left, where the neutral white line is coming into the LED of an indicator light. So I'm going to be grabbing power from there. So. I need to do a little bridge from this white wire on the thermostat over to that one. Just testing it out. And here's kind of a close-up of that bridge there on the left. You can see it's coming over and grabbing power from that white wire that was going to the LED light. Here it is. So make sure you cover up all your work with electrical tape so there's no metal exposed because you don't want it to touch and ground out. So we'll wrap that up with electrical tape, get it really tight. And before you put it back together you could just test the circuit. You could turn it on. There's there's what the bridge looks like. Just gotta wrap it all up. But you could turn it on and you'll notice that there's a little bit of a delay, probably about five seconds, and then you'll hear the click of the relay and you'll see the uh, LED indicator light come on and that means that you have it all wired correctly. This is kind of what the wires look like. Again, it's pretty simple because it's all just color coded yellow to yellow, orange to orange, red to red, black to black. The white one we had to adapt and take some power from that LED circuit over over to the left.
So now we got it zip tied. We're just going to put everything back into this little cavity here. And uh, this is how that little bezel goes on the front of the thermostat. So you put in one of the screws, put the bezel on, and then put in the second screw. And they just kind of get it centered best you can. I'd remove some of the other bezels here in the front, but you don't really need to. Only one that really comes off is the one on the thermostat. Okay, so we're getting all the wires in. Make sure no wires are getting pinched anywhere. <coughs> Get these little <coughs> cardboard covers over the burner stems. And then you put the panel back in and we'll start adding those screws. Here's the little clips for the, the new bulb. Put those on and then we're going to just pinch the clip and push it back into the back of the firewall and behind on the oven cavity to hold that bulb up into position. And the other little clip that came with it, I used that to kind of hold the wire up into the upper left-hand corner of the oven cavity. So we got both those little clips in. We'll put the grates back in. So these guys are noticing with their old analog that they were about 100 degrees off, so they definitely needed a new system. Here's the wiring again. We got all the screws back in to hold the front panel on, put all the grates back, and it, it tested really good. So the new electronic ones are pretty cool, pretty effective. So I hope this helps you to get your oven heating ac accurately again. And please subscribe when you get a chance. Thanks for watching.